Happy Sabbath to you all. We are living in the times of sorrow, grief and pain. Everyone is affected. Today I shall testify on how God can do wonders in our lives and how he can help us overcome trials and temptations. Today my topic is, our God is able. He is able, he is able, I know he is able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He is able, he is able, I know he is able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. Yes, he is able able to do anything never underestimate what god can do he holds the whole universe in his hands no problem is too small nor too large to bring to god god understands the human heart let us read from Acts 12 verse 1 to 7. about that time herod the king laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. He proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the days of unleavened bread. And when he had seized him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending after the Passover to bring him out to the people. So Peter was put in prison, but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. The very night when Herod was about to bring him out, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and sentries before the door were guarding the prison. And behold, an angel of the Lord appeared and the light shone in the cell and he struck Peter on the side and woke him, woke him up saying, Get up quickly and the chains fell off his hands. Peter was put under the, the charge of 16 soldiers who guarded him day and night. He was between two soldiers and was bound by two chains. Prison doors were severely locked. All chances of rescue through human means were cut off. But man's extreme is God's opportunity. God commissions his angels to save his chosen. Let us read from 1 Peter 5 verse 7. Verse 7. Cast all your anxieties on him, for he cares about you. Peter put all his cares upon God, and truly speaking, God was moved. God was moved by Peter's prayers and also prayers of believers. Church, when a fellow brother gets into trouble, let's be on our knees for him. Strong gates opened with without the aid of human hand and claws noiselessly behind the angel. The angel awakened Peter by a hand touch. That same time, chains fell off his hands. Let us read from Acts 12 verse 8 to 11. And the angel said to him, Dress yourself and put on your sandals. And he did so. And he said to him, Wrap your main towel around you and follow me. And he, he went out and followed him. He did not know that, that what was done by the angel was real, but thought he was seeing a vision. When they had passed the first and the second guard, they came to the iron gate leading into the city. It opened to them of its own accord, and they went out and passed on through one street, and immediately the angel left him. And Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. Peter followed the angel. He obeyed what Peter the angel from the prison cell to the streets and the mission of the angel was accomplished. When we face trials and temptations, let us bear in mind what God says. The battle is not ours but God's. We don't need to fight on our own, but invite God to fight for us when we feel weak and heavy laden. May God bless the reading of his word.